So far, we've been presented with information in the form of stories in which a pattern is described to us. For example, we might be told that an item comes on the market for $60, and then each year the price increases by $2. This naturally gives us the equation, the price equals the rate of change, the slope, times the number of years the item's been on the market, plus the starting value. When the pattern is described, it's very easy to write down an equation relating the two quantities. But that's often not what we encounter in real life. In real life, often what we actually encounter is just a bunch of values, and we have to try to figure out what the pattern is. Here's what I mean. Suppose that you were to guess that there was a relationship between the temperature in winter and the number of students absent from a class. And it's more likely that the temperature could be used to predict the number of students absent than that the number of students absent can be used to predict the temperature. So we're going to say the x is the temperature and then y is the number of students absent. So the teacher measures the temperature on several days and then counts the number of students that are absent. And this is what she sees. Is there a pattern here? It's really hard to tell just by looking at these numbers by themselves. It looks like on the warmer days, 15, 19, 12 degrees, we have fewer students absent. And on the really cold days, minus 8, minus 7, we have lots of students absent. How can we see this pattern more clearly? One way to make a pattern easier to see is to draw what's called a scatter plot. In a scatter plot, we draw a graph where we plot a point for each day. So in this case, looks like I want my y to go up to 8, and I want my x to go from negative 8 all the way to 19. Notice in order to draw that graph, we had to count by 2's on the x-axis because there wasn't enough room to go from negative 8 all the way up to 19 by 1's. That's okay. These odd-numbered temperatures, we can, uh, we can just kind of estimate that. So now we plot a point for each day. Right, so we have a day where the temperature is 12 and there was one absence. We have a day that the temperature was negative 8 and there were seven absences. We have a day when the temperature was 8 and there were two absences. We have a day when the temperature was 10 and there was one absence. Temperature 7, that's halfway between 6 and 8, and there were three absences. Temperature 9, that's halfway between 8 and 10, and there were two absences. Temperature negative 3, and there were seven absences. Negative 7, and there were eight absences. 19, and there were zero absences, 15, and there were zero absences. Hmm. So this picture is called a scatter plot. And one of the reasons that we draw them is to try to reveal 
a pattern in our data. Looking at this pattern, it looks like the higher the temperature, the fewer students are absent, and the lower temperature, the more students are absent. We can't really say better than that at the moment. In the next video, we'll see ways to describe the relationship that we see in a scatter plot a little bit more precisely.